Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery! Today I am taking a look at Avatarify. What is Avatarify you may be asking? Well it's got a little bit under the about section here. Avatars for Zoom, Skype and other video conferencing apps such as StreamYard. You could also use it in OBS Studio. But what does it do? Well it's got a little picture there of a moving Mona Lisa and uh, it says it's based on the first order motion model for image animation. Now if you remember that, but doing that in real time via your webcam. So essentially you can have any picture and that will animate it using your face. Now the table of contents here has requirements and install running and all sorts of stuff on there to get you going and it's all very well written. Uh, now the install, it's got absolutely loads of things here. So you've got Linux, Mac, Windows, remote GPU and even Docker as well. So you can install this on pretty much any system. Um, a download here, got the requirements. So if you've got an NVIDIA GPU, which you should have, uh, especially with the new 3000 series coming out soon, then you can expect to be able to use that and get some decent frames a second. Now the 1080 Ti there is 33 FPS and the one I'm using is the 1070. They reckon 15 frames a second. I am getting a little bit more than that, I think. It certainly looks usable to me. Now, the install, exceptionally simple. Uh, once you've downloaded the network weights, uh, then you just run the little script. Now, the network weights are exactly the same as the first order motion model for image animation. So if you've trained your own model, you can use that here as well. Uh, just put it into that file name in the Avatarify directory. So I've actually got a link there to the previous checkpoints. Now installation as mentioned is as simple as just running their install script. So scripts install.sha and return and that will go and do everything it needs for you. Um, now this is assuming of course you've already installed Miniconda or Anaconda. Um, let's have a quick look at this script just to show you what it does. So scripts and install.sha so there we are. So it basically just creates a new Conda environment for you, downloads, installs some software, pip install minus R requirements of text, does that all for you. And the same as well in the run, when you're running it, that will also activate your environment and the webcam and do everything for you. So you don't even need to activate the new Conda environment. You can literally just type run, I can spell run, dot shut. There you go. Fantastic. Okay, so once that's running, you will get your little webcam will start up and then you will appear. Hello. Now, there's lots of instructions for this. So I'll scroll down to this bit. Go down and down and down and down and down. And once we've installed it, so here we are, we've got the controls. So you've got the numbers one to nine will switch between avatars, but before you do any of that, um, you'll want to sort of get your face into this box. So you can translate there, it's got with the H, K, U and J. So if you want to move the camera around a bit, that's fine. And if you think that's fine, then you can press X. So there you go. Right, now that's, that's sort of lined up, but as you can see, the mouth isn't necessarily quite right or anything like that. So you can change that, you know, while you're going. Uh, we've got the F key here, toggle reference frame search mode. So when you press that, you'll have two numbers appear. You've got a number on the outside there, which is what it is at the moment, and then a number on the inside there, which is the best one so far. Now, as you've seen, if you get closer to the reference, then a little green, yeah, it will flash green, and then it will save it. So once you're ready with that, then you can stop the reference frame mode just by pressing F again, that will toggle it. Ideally, you want to get this number here down to less than 10. Uh, if you can get it to 12 or so, then yeah, whatever. But the 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 closer that number is to zero, the better. Um, so yeah, you, you can get it down to a six, then you're, you're smiling. Now, there's lots of things you can do here. Um, so one to nine, it will switch between your first nine avatars. I'll just turn the toggle mode off. And um, these are the avatars in the avatars directory. Now, you can put any picture you want in here, uh, apart from it has to be square. You don't have to resize it to 256 by 256. It does that for you. So I put a load of different ones in here because I'm like that. Just grabbed a lot of different uh, things that I thought would be a little bit weird. 
and uh, some of those are the defaults in there. Some of them aren't actually even faces. Um, so there we've got a furry to test with as well and a gargoyle also not actually a face. Same with that, a dragon and somewhere, yes, my favourite marmot. So I'll be looking at all of those and again, paintings, not, not necessarily a face, but it's close enough for it to be able to pick up on the particular features. So as long as we've got this Avatarify window active, oops, popping back, you can drive your avatar. So if I press A, I can go to the previous or next avatar and we can see what they look like. So there I've got a, a statue. I bring my little webcam back, then see the yeah, it's, it's getting better. Oh, that's 13. That's a 13. That's that's pretty close. I'll I'll press F on that and keep that. So there we've got a statue. You can you can almost move the statue's features and things. But uh, yeah, once you've got a, a decent match, then you'll get a decent picture. So we'll get through some of these avatars. So that was a that was one that was off to the side, uh, and I wanted to see how I think that's how it is normally that picture. So the head isn't 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 in there really at all well. So the better sort of pictures um, don't have the shoulders in. Um, as you can see, if you've got the shoulders in, then it, it will work, but it looks a little bit weird. If you can get a face like this, this is one of the ones that comes with it. Hello, Arnie. Do a bit more of a search. Let's zoom in a bit, see if we can get a better match. That's a 16, that'll do for now. Um, so yeah, now I'm Arnie. So this is a sort of face on, um, not very much in the background. You can see a little bit of shadow there if you move the head. The shadow does sort of get a little bit confused. So if you've got a plain background, that's good. Uh, straight on shot is the best. But for each face, obviously everything's in a different position. You can see where it is. Uh, that's a 20. Now, if you're having lots of trouble lining up, then the Z and C, and that will overlay the image onto you. And then if you, you can line up a little bit better with it, maybe there. Get the eyes and the mouth in the right place. Oh, it reckons that's a 17. So we'll put that back up. There you go. Hello. Oh, I've got to put a goal right in the back of the net. Yeah. Anyway, so it can also be Harry Potter or Obama or Mona Lisa or a marmot. Now, as you can see, the marmot, if I press F, um, is an exceptionally um, difficult thing to match. It's not 12 anymore, we're in the thousands. And I was actually surprised that it even recognized a face in there at all, to be honest. But yeah. As you can see, you could even be a marmot, so it, it, it works It works quite well. Uh, let's match that face again. There we go. There's some more old famous people. Now the gargoyle worked surprisingly well, considering no face detected in Avatar. So it doesn't even know there's a face in there, and yet it's still sort of able to do things. Pretty much the same with the dragon as well, and the furry. Unfortunately, the furry has no face recognised either. Can't quite close the eyes, but the closer you get to human or what the model was trained on, then you know that's that's going to work better. Now this one was quite a surprise for me. I was happy that this worked. This this one, I think, looks really, really freaky. Yeah, that's just I I was surprised that one worked. Very surprised indeed. Now uh, you can also use obviously images you've generated yourself as well. So you don't just have to be a statue, you could be something from Art Breeder. So let's just zoom that one in, try and get my match, 21, that's close enough. Um, so yeah, so there you go, once you've got eyes and a face, you can do things with it. It can be a complete disembodied head that looks like a cartoon drawing. Yeah, or oh, there's a, another Art Breeder one here, there you go, so you can see they... <laughs> Yeah, they look, they look quite weird, don't they? But they, they do match quite well. Uh, uh, that's a six. It reckons that's a six. And as you can see, it does the eyebrows and all that sort of stuff. So it's very, very good match. But you don't have to download them and install them into that directory yourself. No, 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 look, Q. Turns on style game generated avatar every time you push Q. So you can actually just generate a new avatar on the fly and now I'm someone different. Now I'm someone different. And now I'm someone different again. And again. And again. Yes, there's loads and loads and loads of different faces in there. Of course, they're all generated and they match quite well. The style game generation does match quite well. Now let's see, I shows FPS. So what FPS am I getting here on my 1070? So I'm getting 
21 FPS. Um, so it's slightly higher than it said up there, but yeah. So even if you've got a, a really low end card like mine, like a 1070, uh, then this is gonna work for you. Now that's a virtual camera, of course. So if you've got another application like a you know video meeting app, Zoom, depends what version of Zoom, Teams, Slack or StreamYards or anything like that, then you can just add it as a virtual camera. So if I open up OBS Studio, for example, and drag that window over here, create a new scene, call that scene two, I can just add that virtual camera as a V4 L2 device, add, the device appears there, Avatarify. So now you can just include it in your videos. Fantastic, instant avatars, really quick and easy, loads of well-written scripts, does everything for you. Avatarify, fantastic. Have fun, rodents out.